Howdy, Possum Patty here. And I'm just journaling in the middle of a blizzard. So come on along. I bought this really pretty kitty fat quarter at Walmart the other day. And I just noticed that all the flowers are spring tulips. And looks like delphiniums. And that might be a violet over here. Anyway, um, so I was thinking of making the cover for my kitty journal. And this is definitely getting my mind off the blowing and the snowing outside. And I had made this pretty journal for summer cover. And I, I really like this. I like this size. And I like this. This is made with batting and Amazon envelope. Bubble, bubble envelope. And it is the house finch o'clock. The birds outside are not singing. But the clock is inside. So I was thinking of doing something like this. And I went through my stash and I found two mailers from Amazon that I can fold and make into a journal. I just took this out to check the size. And I think I just need to trim this a little bit at the top. Otherwise it's perfect. So when you take a 12 by 12 sheet and fold it, and it will make a good page like that. It's perfect. So I'm going to use this as my model to make a kitty. And then I have to one other summer one with the uh, mason jar I bought the other day. I'll save this one for that journal and I'm going to work on the kitty journal with this bubble envelope and this material and we'll see where it goes from there. Okay I found some more of this really nice cotton batting but I don't have too much left but I do have this sheet and I believe this is more of the polyester but it'll be fine. It'll be fine. I'll just cut this down to size. And it just makes for, I mean, the journal is just so wonderful. With between the bubble wrap and the cotton batting and the material. I mean, it's like a, like cushy slippers or a wonderful stuffed animal. It makes a great noise and it's just so nice to feel. Okay, so I cut this down just a little bit. So it's the same size as the Bee Journal. Beautiful journal. And now I'm going to cut some of this polyester batting down. And then I'm going to use this as the outside cover. But I went to look for some more material. I got the cats on my chair. And I decided that... This is going to be a kitty boho. Okay, this is the elephant boho journal that I made last year. And it's a chunky one, of course. And I started off with boho, but... Well, it's still kind of boho, isn't it? Boho, but there's lots. There's journaling in here, memory keeping, all kinds of things in here. People had sent me some things. I added them to the journal. Got flying bees in this one. So this is going to sort of be the same but different. And I did sort of quilting on the cover with 
different kinds of machine stitching and I put tassels and those little mirror things and buttons and elephants and beads. So this is going to be boho but a, a different kind of boho. This one's sort of bright colors, yellow, orange, pink, and brown. And let me just get that out of the way. This one it's going to be more towards the blue side. And I looked at my bucket of materials. And I don't have a lot of blues, but this is what I came up with. I have, this is really nice. I think I've used this in my winter journal. And I have some blue netting. And I have some dark floral, sort of boho got the pink flowers on it and blue and I have the light blue this is an old Vera Bradley pocketbook that I made a journal out of so this would be fun pocket in the journal I could sew that in and then I have a lace curtain and a tablecloth that I got at a flea market and this blue scarf that I got at a flea market and I think the scarf is going to be the tie and this is going to be the main cover but somehow I want to incorporate some of those other materials into the outside and the inside. And I also have this peacock boho material, which is the blues and the greens too. And the flowers. And I think I have one more that has peacock feathers on it somewhere. So this is going to be a mashup. Oh, and I, somebody just gifted this to me. Isn't this gorgeous? That's definitely going to go in there. These blue leaves and flowers. Well, I guess I'll be working over at the sewing machine for a while. So I'll just bop back and forth and show you my progress. The first thing I did was to take the scarf and I cut it in half the long way lengthwise and I folded it and I folded it over again and then I just ran two tracks of zigzag stitching through the whole length and this is going to go under there probably put the batting down first then this and then for the inside and plates. I'm going to use this really pretty black material and I took a piece of that tablecloth and made a pocket again using the zigzag stitching and that'll be on the inside and that's all I've done so far. So now I'm going to go back to the cover and I'm going to cut some batting for the outside of the cover. Okay, when I do this, I do not um, split the envelope. I'm going to use the whole envelope, both sides, so it's a double thickness envelope. And then I put a piece of batting on each side. So it's gonna be really soft and cushy. So I will be sewing it, but just to hold it down in place, I'm going to use a little bit of this extra strength permanent bond just to hold it while I'm gluing. I'm sorry, just to hold it while I'm sewing. A little glue to hold it while I'm sewing. And 
this glue might not hold it, so we will see. Maybe I didn't put enough. Okay. Now, I'm going to fold over Put more glue is what I'm going to do because that is not sticking. Okay, well this glue is not holding. It works on the cotton bag. Hold on. The cat just jumped up on my big shop machine and knocked the little plates to the floor. Okay, let's try this again. I don't think this glue is holding this polyester batting. So, should I put a little fabric tack on it? Uh, let's see. Mm, let's see. How about how about this one dollar glue from the Dollar Tree? I just need it to stay in place so I can sew it. Oh, now that now it's sticking. Okay, I just pulled it off. I just probably didn't have enough on there because now it's sticking. Okay. Now I'm going to put some on the batting or interfacing or whatever this is. I don't have the bag for it anymore. See, I want to get, oops, I want to get this little kitty in there and this kitty's face here. That'll be the front. Like that. There as there is as many ways to make a journal cover as there are journalers. Everybody does it differently. Even if you copy somebody else's idea, it will not come out the same because everybody will put their own spin to it. Okay, so that's going to be like that, and I need to, should I trim this? Or just fold it down? I could just mm, 
notch it. Look at these little bleeding hearts. Like that. Alright, um, the cat ran out after she knocked everything on the floor. Now she wants to come back in again. I just cut down and cut across. Oh. Dull scissors. Oh, this one's extra fluffy. Maybe this, yeah, this batting is thicker than the other one that I used. Extra fluffy. It's extra fluffy. Oh, that was a cap to the glue. Everything going to the floor. a notch okay, and if you're not going to sew just use some really good glue to hold your material down okay now I'm going to sew this All around the edge, probably with like zigzag. And then complete the inside. So I just went all the way around with a little bit of a zigzag stitch. And this will be the cover. I may add something to the front of the cover. The cat was on my seat. She went meow when I pushed her down. And the finished cover is going to be six and a half by the other one is six and a quarter. This one came out six and a half by nine and three quarters. This one came out a little bit bigger than the other one. I don't know why. I thought I cut it the same size. Hear that? So nice and crinkly. And so soft to touch. Okay, here comes Pesty Cat. Okay, now... Let's see. This has to go on underneath Not underneath the, yeah, underneath the, um, inside things. All right, so this is going to be this way. And it, this is the center there. And that's not the way I wanted it. I wanted it the other way. No, don't bite that. I wanted it 
this way. Okay, so fold it in half. Find the center. Which is there, sort of. Where'd my pen go? Okay, that's the center. There. You can eyeball it. It doesn't have to be precise. Or you could measure everything. That's about three and a half that way. And let's see if I move it down to four. I like it a little bit more towards the top than the bottom. That's about three and a half and that's about four. So I like that. I like it. And I better mark this. So I'm going to put some glue underneath. Okay. So. I am going to. Put two strings of glue all the way across. I'll probably sew the ends. Hope I'm going straight. Hope I'm going straight. We can check that. We can check it. We can check it with a little bitty ruler. Oops. Three and a half. Three, about three and a half. This isn't exactly even. I cut it exactly in half, but then I folded it to sew it. It really didn't come out that way. Okay, put some on this side. This is going to be underneath the end, the end papers. I want to say end papers, but the end papers are going to be material. All right, so when you close it, ooh, look at that. They match up. Okay. So that's good. That's good. So I'm going to take this over to the machine and just give it a stitch right there and right there. And then I'll be gluing this down the best I could right on top of everything like that. Like that. Okay, I am all glued down here, I hope, and I'll be stitching in the middle, and that'll hold this pocket because I didn't sew it there. And it's very soft and fluffy. And then this will just go around and tie. Like a boho, a boho kitty, a boho kitty journal. Look how fat it is and it has no pages in it yet. So this is big enough that this can expand to as fat as I want it. So while that is drying, I was thinking about pages and I know I said I want to go sort of blue. And I don't do blue, so blue is new for 22, so I'm looking for things that have blue, and I can mix it up a little pink and purple, 
And this is eight and a half by 11. So it's gonna be a little smaller than this when I fold this. Now, if you're thinking about which way to fold your 12 by 12s, do this, okay? When I go like this, I feel a lot of resistance in there. And if I turn it and fold it the other way, it closes right up. So you wanna fold it the way that there's no resistance. And what that does is give you a much cleaner fold here on the edge. And it won't crack if you do this right. So I'm thinking, I don't know, maybe three signatures or two. It's not a very big journal. Maybe two signatures. I gotta bring it back on the floor I want some crazy some crazy floral here at the beginning I think something with these colors pinks and the blues I got that one with the white I got a black one but we can go for a little contrast because this is already black Or, I've got something like this. Checking, checking. So it would fold this way. Ooh, I like these colors. And then, let's see, I might save this for the inside. I got blue butterflies and more blue butterflies. And purple. And another purple. I think I'm gonna go with this one because I want a crazy floral. I know it's kitties, but it's gonna be kitties crazy floral. Boho, boho kitty, kitty cats. So I'm going to have two sizes of pages. And one's going to be this size. And one's going to be a little larger. Yes, I'm going to make this one... Probably maybe nine and a quarter. Nine and a quarter. I'm going to trim this at nine and a quarter and see how it looks. Well, change of plans. I decided to make them all the same size. And so, I made two signatures. Each one has six sheets. So that's 24 pages in each. So that's 48 pages. And I usually find that's enough for one journal. And what I did was cut down a floral page and then a solid color and a floral page and a solid color, cream to go with that, pink to go with that, and butterflies and green to go with that. And this is actually the second signature. And this is the first signature, floral and pink. And sort of a lavender and a dark purple and blue butterflies and a light blue. So this is the first signature. And I thought I would get more done today, but I'll probably sew these in tomorrow. And I'm just going to, you know, just your usual pamphlet stitch, but maybe four stitches instead of three. 
But maybe I'll try, maybe I'll do something new. I've never done it with three stitches and maybe I will do that this time. So that will fit in there like that. And then we have the boho wrap. And I think I'm going to go with um, just straight cardstock pages. And I find that, you know, I can use all different kinds of papers and sizes and things. But, you know, to tell you the truth, I just like working on a cardstock and mostly a plain page. I like starting with a plain cardstock page. Sometimes I'll make them, um, cut them, I can cut them later into different shapes if I want or put something along the edges. But I'm just going to go with this. All the same size cardstock paper. And this is how I did my gnome journal. And I like how that came out. So I'm going to go with it. All right. Enough is enough. Wrap it around. My kitty journal. My boho kitty journal. <laughs> These little kitties, aren't they so cute? Well, if you don't like little kitties, you can do whatever you want. These fat quarters are only... Um, I think less than two dollars something like that over at Walmart the Amazon bubble envelope for free obviously uh, the batting I just had some batting down the basement so I don't even remember when I bought it or how much it cost and then the rest of this like the scarf came from a yard sale and this material came from a yard sale and the old tablecloth came from a yard sale and of course, these are papers that were in the stash. I didn't go out and buy anything new. Just going to use these up. Use what I have. I kind of like this. I like it. I like it. Okay, that's enough. That's enough. That's enough. And I will maybe work some more tomorrow or the next day. We'll see. I need to do some journaling. I like to like one day work on a journal and then I do have to spend a day doing actual journaling because, you know, this is just journaling with Possum Patty. I felt like I've talked too much, so I'm just going to say thanks for coming along today. Bye-bye now.